Hi, everyone. Hi. Hosting in towards the end of February. So here we go. We're going to today look at a what has been told to me as a bad flip in Jamaica Plain where I used to live. So I'm very excited to look at the place that I basically can't afford to live anymore, what they have done to make things terrible. So this is fancy flipped looking kitchen. Very fancy fridge. That's, uh, you That's can, like, the kind that shows you the inside, I think, without opening yeah. it, right? Yeah. Those disturb me, and I feel... I don't need to see inside my... I mean, I do the grocery shopping. I know what's in the fridge. And if I don't, I know how to open the door. Like, it feels easy to me to... Open. Mm -hmm. If I'm standing at the fridge already, I know how to see what's in it. Right. Um, that's an interestingly shaped microwave, but otherwise things seem normal. Do you think that's an angle or just a weird shape? I don't think it looks weird. Oh, I feel like it looks so short and long. Mm. Like, not tall. That could be an angle. That could be an angle. Um, yeah, it's not quite as weird there. All right, this looks normal so far. Is there something supposed to go there, though, under the window? In that or? hole? Yeah, I mean, I would have put something there. Maybe even just, you know, another cabinet? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it feels like... It, it makes this feel weird. Like, I feel like they could have yeah. either stopped things there or not. You know what I would put there? I would put a bench for the cats. They could just sit in the sun. You probably would put a bench for the cats there, yeah. I totally would. I mean, it feels like there's a range of things that could be sort of small, like a little window seat that has mm -hmm. some storage in it. Everyone needs a seat the cats. in the kitchen sometimes. Yes, for the cats. <laughs> but maybe one that would fit a human too if they wanted. Less important. I don't think we jump ahead to a 3D walkthrough. That feels like no. ruining the game. No. The sink works. Yep, an effectively working sink. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those pictures. I guess I just, when I look at a sink in- I assume that very it's rare work. circumstances, yeah. Um, huh. so this floor situation is not how I would have handled things. The, the big old brick beam is also, brick pillar is also. Yeah. And I'm interested if we're going to go over here to see the like reflection of the mini brick pillar. I assume that's another brick pillar and not a mirror, but who knows? I, or a like bricked but, over door, not doorway. Yeah. Like. They heard about exposed brick and they felt like they had some great ideas. So well, I didn't hate brick this floor until I look at it next to that floor. Mm -hmm. And now I don't like it. It is weird to put them right next to each other. And I, yeah, wonder like, why I feel like they different. could have done a different, like that, but going the other direction to like mm -hmm. demarcate. But this just feels like tacky looking now. Also, if it's that open, why do you need to demarcate the flooring at all? Yeah, I mean, you've already got this big brick column. Yeah, that does a good job of demarcating it yeah a... i've never wanted that no i, I have think never they like, like tore down a load-bearing wall and needed something they couldn't they have done something like a little bit more subtle yeah i thought i would have thought so i mean but... i've watched property brothers that's my extent of knowledge but this is for if you're trying to be sneaky this is what <laughs> you would see if you're sneaking <laughs> behind the brick column I feel like I've got a handle on this kitchen now. Yep, I've seen a lot of it. Yeah, that's what I would have guessed it would look like from yep. here. Yep, yep. I like the, those windows are nice. Yeah. Um, uh, that is just a bricked over doorway. I mean, but why? Who wouldn't want to be able to go into whatever that room is? Is it a duplex? Is that like the next person's house? I don't know, but why would you have had, that's a double door, clearly. Why would you have had a double door going into someone else's house? It feels like it's got it. It was, maybe it was originally one. Like they split it? And split up? Well, yeah. that's a terrible way to split it. That's, oh, it's an awful way to split it. <laughs> it does not, awful. it doesn't feel like, cool, here's my wall. It feels like, don't here's go there. Here's a bricked over doorway. <laughs> yeah. Where the bodies are hidden is behind that. Seriously. I, here's I want to see it from the other thing. direction. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm going back up to this kitchen to try to understand. That looked like the door into the house, didn't it? Yes. Like it's got a like dead board. A back door. Yeah. And then the only place you can go from here is to the bricked over doorway. We don't know what's on the other side. Of what? Of go the back up here. to the, the 
Yep, where the column goes, that bricked over, we haven't seen the far side of the room, right? That Wasn't that the far side of the room? No, the other side. So go back. Oh, maybe we have. I felt like one side is the kitchen and then the other side is the bricked over doorway. But I mean to the right. If I'm standing here looking at the beam this way. Oh, no. It, yeah, there's, there's an is opening. Is that a door? Okay. Yeah, there's an opening. They just keep hiding it from us. Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know how we... Okay, okay. So I believe you. So basically we're looking at the bricked over doorway, turn left. Mm -hmm. And, and that's where this other, yeah. So that brings us maybe here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we got stairs. Great. This is a nice little foyer. That's fine. I feel yeah. like we're spending again more time than we needed to. Is this a bedroom bathroom? I can't, I can't decide what I think this is. Is that a shower? It looks like a shower. And is that a bedroom? It looks, that is, the shower is the only thing that would suggest to me that this is not a bedroom. Oh, here we go. Okay, oh. here's a gap that I would say, which is a door. Where's the door? Uh, why can't we brick this over? <laughs> yeah. Wow. What? That toilet is just out there. Out there, this is a cutout. <laughs> How did you do that? And then they put glass, which you can obviously see through because I see the sink. <laughs> this, this, I accidentally looked at the price. This place is $900,000 and you can't have a door on the bathroom. I expect for $900,000 <laughs> that I can pee without someone watching me from a cutout. From the window, from the... <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of angles. And there's that mirror just in case they don't have a good enough view. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. What is this? Is this a bathroom or a bedroom or just like a, a like lounge area that you can pee in? Maybe you just put a little couch under the window and everybody hangs out in there all the time. Yeah, this, this is just the front door. That is the front door. Oh my God. <laughs> so... I guess, you know how some of them are like virtual furniture added? This feels yeah. like one where I wish there was some virtual furniture because I would love to get this vision of the person who made that room. And what they, yeah, what they thought would go yeah. in. What, yeah. When you were doing it, what made you be like, I got it, I got <laughs> You know what this is? We're gonna put a shower and then a toilet, <laughs> glass wall, and then open. <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure that when people are coming in, they hang up their coats, they have a good view. <laughs> I don't want people to have to wait too long to watch other people pee or shower. <laughs> or shower. Okay, so this is a bedroom. Uh-huh. That's a weird placement for a radiator, to be honest. Um, of all the weird placements in this house, that one does not rank for me. It's fair. Um, is this the same room? Probably, maybe. Are they attached to each other? Who knows? Hard to okay. know. Okay, so this, that's a closet. I get it. Yep, that's a closet. All right, this room seems fine. I don't know what's going on there. That might be the upstairs version of the brick column, but here we are. At least put the trim at the bottom. That is a narrow staircase. This does not make me feel like I could have a bed larger than a twin. Oh, yeah, good call. Or you'd have to figure out how to like turn it through the window. I mean, as someone who has helped people saw their box springs in half because of JP oh. stairwells. This feels like the worst of like, this is the downside of living in Jamaica Plain. I don't know why you want this angle on this stairwell. No. They love this paint color, huh? They do. They, it is everywhere. This, can you talk to me about this floor? Cause I think it's interesting. I don't hate it, but it seems terribly done. So a weird thing about this floor is that they seem to have it running in many different directions all yeah. over the floor. And that's, I feel like, not usually how you do that. Also- It just feels erratic. Like this was like the extra They did not like house. pick, yes, they did not like pick what plank was, was gonna go where. Yeah. It feels poorly planned. Yeah. Okay, we got a lot of doors in this room. <sighs> that one goes out there. Maybe one of them's a closet. Probably one of them's a closet. But then what? Who knows? Oh, that door goes out. That door goes out. This one's a closet, I think. 
Why do they both go out to two different hallways? Maybe one, probably one of them goes to a front door so that people can like watch someone get changed. <laughs> All right. It's really hard to tell what room is what, but I think this is another room because I don't Bedroom? think we've seen quite that ceiling shape before. Yeah, no, the ceiling is different. And there's a radiator. We have a lot of radiators in this house. Yep. I'm hoping it's gas heat and not oil because that would get very expensive. More doors. There's three doors in that corner. Okay. So, yeah. I'm, it's, it's interesting. So this is a 2,000 square foot condo. I did see that, which is okay. unusually large. But the space seems like it's used really weirdly. I would agree with that, 100%. Either a lot of that space is closets, because like... Do, do, do. But the one closet we've seen was tiny. Tiny, yeah. Okay. Yep. This is the twinsy of the other one that we saw that also uh -huh. had yeah. the same color, this radiator, these... Yeah. Here's another bathroom. Far less roomy than so, the... Are those more shower sprayers? Yes, yeah, like a whole body car wash. That looks amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't want to buy this place. Also, I, again, don't know why they're so obsessed with watching other people like do their hygiene routines, but- This home does not believe in privacy. But also, what is that? Is that another sprayer inside the sprayer? Is that a normal thing? I think it's the reflection of this that second sprayer. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, it feels strange to have a like jaunty bonus spray inside your sprayer. <laughs> With an extra sprayer. So this is another bathroom. The bathroom has a door. I like that. It's a big bonus. It looks like you could have a shower curtain too, which would make it. Wow. So All right. So this is for the this is for the more modest of the, the shower. Privacy conscious. <laughs> Um, though it does seem very easy to wash your hands from the shower. So I guess that's nice if you like to you know, clean yourself in a bunch of ways. That's your priority. Yeah. Okay. Here's a fourth bathroom. Um, yeah, fourth bathroom. I thought there were only three. Well, or we misunderstood something. Maybe they don't count the first one. Or maybe there were four and I didn't read. I hope they don't. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they're just like, I'm sorry, I see what you're doing here, but I cannot. Listen, I cannot legally list this as a bathroom. <laughs> yeah. This is just a room with a toilet. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's an interesting little sinky thing. Yeah, they're trying to maximize space. You can tell because that's a narrow toilet. And, and it looks like a very low to the ground toilet. This is like the toilet training bathroom for. This is for the small children. Yep. Yeah. yeah. They might fall in back to front, but at least it'll be <laughs> close to their butt height. <laughs> All right, back to that shower. I don't know. This is the toilet and the bathroom with a shower. No, it can't be with a shower curtain. With the multi-head shower maybe. sprayer, maybe? I wish they hadn't lumped all of the bathroom photos together, all but one of the bathroom photos together. I know. It doesn't really quite make sense. Here's a nice little porch. That is nice. Balcony. Pretty. It's pretty Oh, nice. I know exactly where this is on South Street. It's at 302. Yeah. I, that part didn't resonate but this part does um I agree yeah, yep. you. good to know that you can have drones in the neighborhood great i hate right. to place where i can't have my drones let's read about this located along the orange line corridor this newly renovated condo features a new kitchen with quartz countertops and stainless steel appliances a master suite private rear deck and new electrical and hardwood floors throughout Located close to your favorite JP hotspots, this bi-level condo provides convenient access to the JP Brewery, Southwest Corridor, Parks, Tennis Courts, Turtle Swamp Brewing, less than a two-minute walk to Forest Hills, and a short train ride to Assembly Road. It is, this doesn't make sense to you, Amanda, because you don't live here, but there's literally no reason they would advertise Assembly Row on this JP house. It's across the river. It's like north of Boston in Somerville. I mean, I guess if you're like really into the Lego like museum, it's good, but like it feels like a strange thing to offer. Okay, so it I says like three baths. We definitely saw three baths and then the weird living room bathroom. Three and a half baths, but not in the way you would normally consider a half bath. Because this one does involve a shower. I but it doesn't this, involve a door. You know, sometimes or... there are notes. There aren't any notes on this, but I really wish there were. The only note is hi. Was this helpful? No, it was not. No, helpful. it was not. <laughs> Um, so someone bought this house for less than half the price two years ago 
has obviously spent two years flipping this and mm-hmm. this is what they came up with. Do you think all those doors are original to the house or they added? They were like, you know what, this room needs more a little extra, a little more doors. I mean, it feels like they've done some real changes. So it seems like they are not afraid to remove a door. So it makes me feel like they might not be afraid to add a door. Yeah. I really thought that maybe the bricked over doorway was going to be the weirdest part. Like put some drywall up guys, but no, the weirdest part. No, it really kept going. Living room, bathroom. So I guess my question is, if you were going to flip a house, what novel choice would you make that you've never really seen before? Do you think they did that so that there is a first floor bathroom so that it would be like accessible? There's no way this is accessible. It's a number two, so it's already second and third floor. Oh, it is. Okay, well then never mind. Also, not for nothing, they could have put a door up even if that was Oh, absolutely. I just can't even figure out why they put that bathroom there at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly good bathrooms upstairs. Yeah. Uh, what well, could be wrong, but I'm just guessing it's second and third floor. That's usually what a number two means. Um, what is something that I would, or maybe it just means it's on one side, because remember, we do have that bricked off. No, it's definitely second and third. Okay. Because it's two living levels, and we saw the third floor. Oh, and it says unit level two. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, what is a weird thing that I would put somewhere? We've seen so many at this point that I know it's novel anymore. Um, I think maybe I'd have to start a weird, a weird collection and have one of those big display cases, but like right when you walk in the house. So let's go back to the life of dumb waiters. <gasps> oh, dumb waiters! That's a great idea. I think that I would just put one right in and make it really easy. Like, especially if I was in a second and third floor, I'd love to just throw my groceries in there. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you know what I actually really do want is, um, we had one in, in the house we grew up in, the um, laundry chute. Laundry- mm-hmm. Yeah. As I, I get... That. I don't as know why I mom get, never wanted us to use that laundry chute. I know, I love it. As, as I get less and less good at carrying baskets up and down the stairs because of my center of gravity being weird, um... I think about it a lot. I think about it almost every day. Yeah, I think a laundry chute would be really phenomenal and it feels like a low tech version of a dumbwaiter. Not that a dumbwaiter is that high tech since it's from like 1900, but like. <laughs> but it's a little bit more advanced than like just. You could just cut a hole in your wall right now and make a laundry chute, you know? I, th- I have absolutely considered it. It seems easy. I bet Rowan could do it. I don't know what kind of stuff the laundry would catch on as it goes down into the- Well, I think that you could make, you'd have to put some sort of like piping down, right? Yeah, yeah. But you don't want to just throw your stuck laundry stuck down an open part of the wall. You want something. Yeah, something. So anyway, I would put a laundry chute in because I'm currently obsessed with the idea of a laundry chute because carrying laundry baskets up and down. But that only gets it down- Counterpoint, a dumb waiter. Would take it back up the stairs. You're right. So I'm coming on back around to this dumbwaiter idea. <laughs> Put my laundry in the dumbwaiter. Because I can go up and down the stairs myself fine. It's just carrying something when I've got this. Right. It's like your body doesn't know how to hold you and everything going on in your body. And- yeah. Me and a baby and a laundry basket. So um, I think maybe a dumbwaiter is the way to go. Great interested in other people's thoughts on that if it is not a dumb waiter please show your work because obviously that's we're unanimous here yeah it seems self-evident that a dumb waiter is your best bet <laughs> all right thanks everyone bye